suppose you want to calculate a small distance, like a small side of a triangle, um, like say a bird is trying to look at prey, and it's a long way up, and we're talking about the angle uh, that the object subtends, all the ang that it stretches across, and there are a lot of ways to draw this, and they all come out to the same answer if the angle is small. So I just want to list out some of them. So first option, if you're trying to figure out how far it is from here to here, you could make this a right triangle. If they say that the bird is, you know, 100 meters up, this side here could be 100 meters. This could be 90 degrees. This could be your small angle. And then the tangent of that angle would be our x over 100 meters. But what if you were thinking, but what if that's 100 meters? and that's 90, and this is still x. So then you would have sine of theta equals x over 100 meters. Uh, excuse me, yeah. So there's more ways we could do it. We could say, well, what if the bird is halfway between them? And we've got one here, we've got one here, and we want to know that. So then we would cut the angle in half, say, and have 90 degrees and get x over 2 here and get theta over 2 here and if this altitude were 100 then we'd have tangent of theta over 2 is x over 2 over 100. Or yet another way, suppose that we decide that this is just an arc. We want to know how long that arc is from there to there. For that one so long as theta is in radians, uh, we could say this is 100 meters, say essentially it's a radius of 100 meters, and say x is equal to r times theta. So x would be 100 meters times theta in radians. All of these will give the same answer, so long as the angle is small. See, here on Desmos, I can type in y equals sine x, y equals tangent x, and y equals x. As you can see, near the origin, they are all really close together. Watch as I zoom in and zoom in some more. You can see that these are incredibly close to each other. But how close exactly is close enough? Uh, I made a chart of small angles theta in 0 degrees, 1 degree, 5 degrees, and 10 degrees, and I listed sine of theta, theta in radians, and tangent theta. I put them in that order because they're increasing. Um, so you can see that they're perfectly matched at 0. They're off in like the fifth decimal place uh, for 1 degree. Uh, they're off in like the fourth decimal place for 5 degrees. And by the time you're at 10 degrees, it's about 1.5% error. So in other words, if you have a small angle and a big distance, don't worry about the precise format here. Any of these is going to give you the right answer to three or four decimal places. All right?